the green flag flies and the 146 car appeared to be the only car to put his foot on the gas on that start and now heads down the back straightaway with a big lead over Seekings. We're missing some cars out there, Larry. I don't see Gary Gowdy Sr. I see Beth Ann Gowdy. She drives that 7 car, but there's duct tape over the 7 with the 12B on it as that lap is led by the 146 <laughs> of Andrew Birch. That one will be easy to read at the end of the night in the dark. Yeah, that's going to be a good, good <laughs> talk there. Tweet comes out of the corner a little sideways as here's Andrew Birch coming out of the corner, number four, he's your leader. So here's Andrew Birch. Remington Kostenko in second, Katie Ruby's in third, Christopher Seekings in fourth, and Tweet in fifth. Boy, Seekings awful close to that wall coming out of oh. corner four down there. And starting where he left off last night, the 146 machine of Andrew Birch, the winner at the Williston Basin Speedway, way out front. He's got some of the work in that car, Larry, that's just making it work at both racetracks. Wilson's track's a teensy bit smaller than this Nodak Speedway, but he's got about, I don't know, that's tough to judge, a 20-car lead right now? Yeah, it's uh, up there, 20-length lead, and trying to catch up is Katie Ruby in that nine machine, now running third as she tries to run down the second-place car of Remington Kostenko. And the Gaudi machine way off pace, holding the line down low. Here comes the leader up on her, the 146 of Birch. And now Katie Ruby begins to engage the 27 of Kostenko, trying to get around him as they head down the back straightaway. The battle is definitely for second. And now your leader catching up to the lap traffic. That's Birch, he drives by easily. There's the high raised green flag. That means two laps to go. And this one is Birch's to lose as he heads down the back straightaway. He's got a huge lead. Costanko still running in second. Ruby is third. Here comes the white flag this time around for the 146 of Birch. Nice and clean. Birch into corners one and two. Straightens it out, takes it down the back. He could pedal it home from there, Chad. <laughs> Katie Ruby, one more chance to try to get second as they go into three and four, and I don't think she's got the bite. Birch wins it. Kostenko will come across in second. Katie Ruby will take third in the nine car. Four space. Sets the pace down on the inside. He takes the green flag. We're racing hobby stocks. Tomlinson doesn't waste no time as he goes to the high groove and he's making a quick notice up to second place. It's not a bad run. Last a second half lap, huh, Larry? Yeah, Tomlinson, a uh, wily veteran here, one of our top runners in this class. And he's piloted all the way up as Chad set to second after lap number one. And what? now in first, Tomlinson takes over the lead. Jason Ruby is trying to get over to second place, but they're both running the bottom groove as Wally Jones up and over the berm at a corner four. Hold on to it. Got her locked up before he hits some OTR tires. Let's see if he gets back under power, and he does. We're going to stay green as we're going as Vance Thomas is your leader. Now Jason Ruby's got in second. Colton Cleave in the C45 is in third. Yeah, Clay slowly falling back now, trying to hang on. Now Jern down on the inside of him as they come out of corner number four. And Tomlinson in the 3T. Might receive a challenge here from the 23 of Ruby as they come out of corner number four. And there's a spin in front of the field and avoiding that one was the number 10 car. That's a C45 of Colton Gleave there, Larry. 
everywhere you turn, each computer's turning off by itself. Told you not to get them wet. Isn't that the deal with gremlins? If you get them wet, they grow. They, yeah, they will. No, they turn from fluffy little things to gremlins. That's right. <laughs> they start getting all these warts. Turn right in front. The number ten car turns at corner number one, and he stops right at the bottom of corner one. We'll see if we can get that thing back under power. We can go back to green. I don't think it's going to happen here as we're going to get caution thrown. And here it comes. We're waiting for it. There it is. The pace and the 3T. As they come out of the corner, there's the green flag. Tomlinson still fending off Ruby, but Ruby's going to give it a run down on the inside. Now sticking the nose cone down. Tomlinson's got the momentum, though, and staves them off. Tomlinson four car lengths as he takes it into corners three and four. And the 3T looks untouchable now. Yeah, Jason Ruby tried to get to the bottom groove, and his car is just not going to work down on the bottom side of the track. He had to move back up. When he tried the momentum, he lost a lot. And there goes Vance Thomas in the 3T to the lead with a good, sizable margin with a four-car length lead. Green flag tall in the air, two to go. I love technology. Yeah, we're having a severe meltdown up here. We don't have <laughs> we don't have car rosters or lineups in front of us now either at all. So the memory banks are being stressed out. Out of quarter number four they come. White flag for Tomlinson. Ruby running in second. Scott Jern still in third in that 55 car. Wally Jones in fourth. Checkers in the air, Thomas in the winner, Ruby in second, Jern takes third, Wally Jones in the 4J takes fourth. You're a trophy kid tonight during victory lanes. We'll be down there giving trophies away with you and the kids as we're going to get green flag, heat race, number three in the hobby stocks. The 144 of Reese Dignan takes in your corner one, still your leader, Trevor Haas, down on the bottom of him. Dana Brandt already quickly makes his way up to third place in the nine machine. And the 22W hard into the tire. Oh my gosh. Usually the tires win that one, but it looks like it's car one tire nothing. Look at that, that shoved that tire at least six feet. <laughs> and those aren't easily removable as he is going straight to the pits. Back out front, Dana Brandt now dives down on the inside and drives right into the lead. Dana Brandt. Your new leader. Trevor Haas is in second, battling right now with the AK of Jason Olsen. As Olsen's now going to claim that second spot over Trevor Haas. Going down the back straightaway, they go side by side. The AK goes up the middle of the track, right in front of Haas. Blocks him a little bit, gets momentum out of the corner. AK, Jason Olsen to second place, now traveling down to the 9D of Dana Brandt. Want to welcome all the fans on Ray Speed X Darn TV for joining us from the Nodak Speedway. Jason Olson battling Dana Brandt for the lead here in our third heat race of the Hobby Stocks. If you're just joining us, and Brandt staves them off again and takes them past the flag stand. Olson at second, Haas still running in third. Reese Dignan following in Tim and Cody Dignan's footsteps. In that 144 car running in fourth, followed by Nate Jern. There we go, battle for the lead. The AK's got that lap. Let's see if he can hold it off now as he's running the middle of the track, slides right up in front of Dana Brandt. They're running the same groove, gets great momentum. There goes the AK machine of Jason Olson, the American Truck and Trailer Sponsorship. Olson scoots in the lead. Dana Brandt trying to stay with. Out of the corner they come. 
Pass the flag stand again, and Jason Olsen getting her done. Nate Jern almost into oh. that corner. Fence in oh. corner four. Flirting with disaster there, Larry. I don't think the tires are going to lose again. A little Molly Hatcheting going on by Jern. <laughs> Out of the turn. Jason Olsen, the 8K. White linen in the air. He's got a four car length lead over Dana Brandt. Then comes Trevor Hawes. Dignan now is still battling with Nate Jern for that fourth place spot as the AK of Jason Olsen goes down the back straightaway entering corner number three, still your leader. Dana Brandt's trying to find a groove to get to him. Not going to happen. Here comes the AK out of the turn. That's your winner, the AK, Jason Olsen. Brandt comes in second. Trevor Haas comes in third. And if everything turns out okay, it's going to Dignan in fourth. Jern in fifth. Ladies and gentlemen,